Ben, you feel like you guys have, as an offense, have played some of your best ball in the last couple of weeks, like you're starting to hit your stride? Um, we've been playing pretty well. Um, you know, there's still some things that we can continue to improve on, but um, if you don't win a football game, it doesn't matter. The five wides thing seems to agree with you guys. Though. Can you talk about why that's been effective? Yeah, you're getting a lot of weapons on the field. Um, it's a different look for teams. It's hard for um, defenses to match up when you have five wide receivers on the field. So it's just been something that's good for us because of the guys we have. <coughs> and your relationship with Mike. Uh, Koshama? Koshama. Yeah. Um, how has that evolved over the years? Or has it evolved um, over the years? Yeah, I mean, when you're together with someone for a long time, um, you know, there's uh, a lot of respect there. I think um, you could almost say it's turned into a little bit of a friendship as well, you know, just because you've been together for a while. So uh, it's definitely evolved and changed. I think we, we communicate a lot. You know, we, we, we talk about personnel, things like, you know, he'll ask me about guys in the locker room, how they're doing, things like that. Just um, things that I get to observe during, during the day. And um, I don't feel shy about going and talking to him about things. How does it help in a week like this where, you know, there's a lot going on in the playoff picture you just have to focus on this game? Uh, I mean, we just have to do that anyway. I don't know that mine and his relationship has any effect on that. How are you approaching it? This is a different position than you've been in in a while. This is just a got to win this football game. I don't, I don't care about anything but winning this football game because nothing matters if you don't. Is that difficult to focus on? No, it's AFC North football. It's, it's the last game of the year at home, and, and so no, it's it's 100% focus on the job at hand. What do you expect from the Bengals defense? So, um, you know, a lot bringing bringing pressures. I know um, Coach Marvin has kind of taken over some of the defensive play calling, and um, so we just have to be ready. We they know us. We know a little bit about them too, so I expect to be a good football game. How's the sideline work in a situation where you need another game? Does the information leak out, or do they just put it on the scoreboard? Or? Yeah, I just I assume it'll be on the scoreboard unless Mr. Ernie doesn't want it up there. Do you have a preference? I don't care. I, I don't. I don't really care what's going on outside of Heinz Field because that's all I can control. So it's all that matters to me. Do you sit around occasionally and assess the chances? No, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna focus on this game. That, that, that's all that really matters to me. Um, because, like I said, if we don't take care of our business, nothing else matters. Kind of lift James Conner Brown this week if he's ready to go. Oh, if he's healthy and ready to go, he's another weapon we can get on the field. Anytime you can get guys on the field that are weapons, it's it's valuable for you. Then a couple of the guys spoke about kind of getting over the emotional letdown early in the week. How do you go about that? You get closer to Sunday. Uh, just treat it like a normal week. You know that you've got a big game. It's in. An AFC North opponent. Um, if you have to psych yourself up to get fired up for that game, something's wrong with you. Is it hard to not overplay in the situation? No, well, not for me. I don't know. I can't speak for other guys. Ben, there's going to be a bunch of first and second year quarterbacks in the playoffs this year. What was it like for you back in 2004 to go through that experience for the first time? Uh, it was a whirlwind. Um, just kind of crazy. You just ride the wave of, of, of emotion and, and the team that you're with and uh, trying to screw up. <laughs> What do you think about the way you guys are playing as a team here? What would your chances be if you did get in? Uh, it doesn't matter, Mike. We can't. I'm not going to talk about that and, until Monday if it happens. But um, you know, we, like I said, I, I'm not looking forward to the playoffs because we have to take care of our business first. It seems like you used to compete really well last week. Is there a certain team, certain happenings that works against them? How have you been so good? Um, sometimes it's just. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to throw it and the last minute I decide not to. So it's not like I'm intentionally doing it, but sometimes last week there were some, some times where they were playing the flat, so you kind of pump it to the flat to open up AB or someone on a curl route. Um, I don't know, it's just a, just a feel thing, I guess. I'm, I'm always playing for it. Is it the last second? It's not like I'm going to pump this. You're going to throw and something. Uh, it depends on coverage, but, but yeah, there's a lot of times I'm just planning on throwing the ball and then the last minute I decide not to for whatever reason. And Given the noise, passing, does that mean anything? Nope. Given the noise and how well the Saints rushed the pass, was that one of the better line games? Yes, for sure. Um, tight ends, running back. I mean, we had uh, like two sacks. Um, one, a guy was laying on the ground and grabbed my foot, and I lost my balance. Never should have taken me down. And then 
The other one, uh, we just had a running back on a linebacker blitz. A uh, young guy just didn't, didn't get all of them. So um, for, for that noise, that, that pass rush, that defense, um, that was awesome. I mean, they played as well as you can ask anybody to play um, in those situations. Ken, you're, you're climbing that chart of games playing to uh, Pennsylvania Highlands. You have been second. Does that record matter? Any that's records? a cool. That's a cool record um, to, to play. You know, to be to be the guy that plays the most games in the other history. That, that's kind of a cool one. But um, you know, it's still a long way to go. I think to get to those. Is that it? All right, everyone.